Hey guys, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4, where we're playing as France. So, we just took a chunk of England back, yeah, suck at England, and we separate pieced Austria, so we've got truces, separate truces on Austria and England. I mean, like, it's completely different, five years different. So we can go to a war with Austria five years before, uh, like, in a five year gap before England can even jump in. Which is awesome. We've got a lot of loans though from that war, that was a bit of a nightmare war for loanage. And um, we're still doing the colonisation thing, which is awesome. Uh, don't want to build anything, don't care about the claims right now. We're basically bashing out colonies. Uh, Will, awesome. How's the papacy looking? We've definitely got this guy, this guy's in the bag, 44 year old guy. We kind of gave up on this bloke. This 52 year old guy. Because we just weren't getting off of Austria. Execute the guy from treason or... Huh, let's lose this by defence. Uh, the religion changes to reformed. But they gain 400 population. Okay, that's kind of fine by me actually. Um, where was it? Oh, I was over here in Caracas. It doesn't really matter if the religion changes to reform because, well, I won't be dealing with it. It will get made into a protectorate. Yeah, there you go. It got made straight into the Antilles. So, sorted. Let's move the ships over to here. Drop those guys off. The Mohicans are primitives, and we've gained a CB against them. This place here is Terra Incognita, we want to get over here. And send a guy to Chuco. We'll get Panama as well. I'll just keep pushing round. Portugal. Yeah, they've done a bit of uh, a bit of the old colonisation there. I think our best bet is to just sweep up this way. How much was that worth? 4.3. What's that? Guantanamo, Jamaica, worth 6. Moron. I think we might want to start colonising up in this place. Oh, Havana, that's seven. So, okay, let's recall that guy. Alright, stick this guy over here. Let's get, this place has got five, Havana's got seven. Let's send them there. And let's send our guys up to here. Head over to Havana. Okay, we've got Dauphine is now reformed. Oh, take control of the guilds, lose one stability and gain a load of money. Gain a stability or gain 20 admin points. 240 ducats will let us pay off a loan. Um, let's just get the stability. Stability will probably be worth more in the long term. Reduces the, the um, rebels, gives us more ducats. It's pretty decent just to get stability. Not so much for the the monetary gain itself. Oh, sugar. There, 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 and back down here. Sorry. I want to take over these islands. Uh, let's actually come up here. And here. And here. Then back. Let's just tell it to patrol. That way it might pick up the guys that it needs to. Well, not the guys, the uh. Like these provinces down this coast. 
Oh, new cardinal. Awesome. Native uprising. Who do we want here? 44 year old Austria got for free basically. That was the freebie there. Austria's a shit. Let's just try and get this 53 year old. If he hits 60 we'll patch him. Patches and ignore. I forget that I use a lot of Scottish colloquialisms that not many people actually understand the meaning of. So I'm going to try and stop it. Let's see if we get to keep him or if Austria gets him. Oh, we've got four guys in the Curia right now. That's a lot of points. Yeah, I think we managed to get that guy. We've got a loan coming due soon, and we can repay it. Yes. We can invest in technology, it's military tech, we're behind time. So let's do that. Um, I hope we don't get any new infantry. What have we got? Superior unit types of the uh, the writer and the culverin. Let's take the Schwarzer writer and the don't want the culverin fire and morale often. Yeah, there's no shock there at all. Let's go for that. Still got a loan coming due. We can build provincial improvements, but I don't want to. Can I bump up this ever so slightly? To just making five ducats. There we go. It's a bit better. Investing in naval force or abandoning the idea of naval supremacy? Yeah, investing in naval force. It's fine with me. Yeah, we converted heretics of Bern. Let's convert these guys. We'll just keep converting. I mean, we can, so let's, why not? How's my little subject looking? Uh, Save me 1.6, that's not bad. And Tilly's. Gained a conquest CB against the Maya. Oh, there they're there. As soon as I start button up to them, then I'll start taking them over. Um, I can't vassalize them, so I might as well annex them. Just the way that things happen. Savoy's so declared war on Switzerland. Just will expire against Austria in two years. Well, we're actually having issues getting this guy. Game on stability or get an artist. Might as well get in the artist, because getting on stability is pointless. I mean, we're never going to use them. Pomerania's got religious disorder. Papal state, can we... Let's view my country. Yeah, we're at 5 out of 5. Let's go to the papal state and we will... improve relations with them. There we go. Are you, are you transfer trooper? No. Worth a try. Who else is our allies? Denmark, Hungary, Poland and Portugal. And we'll lead Navasso in Naples. Naples aren't having a good time of it really. Vassalization. Yeah, we could take over the Papal State if we wanted to. We could vassalize them. We could ditch Hungary or Poland. Let's see, who would come into a war with us? None of them. Because they all have a truce, that's right. Ungrateful natives in Havana have risen up. Who's got this? Munster nationalists? Oh wow. That'd be funny if Munster took over that. I could just ship in a load of guys and just take over Munster. That'd be funny. Who's got a disputed succession? Denmark, Poland, Bavaria, Brunswick. 
Ah, that sucks. 52 year old guy, ah, oh, let's go with this guy, Middlebach. Poland's got disputed succession, but I don't think you can... Yeah, you can't claim the throne because it's an elective monarchy. We've got 17, whatever that means. Poland's got 55, Austria's got 35. I don't know how that works. I still have no idea how that works. Who else have we got? We've got Denmark. Oh, we don't have the same dynasty. Lisa P.U. Yep, a monarch death. Well, if the monarch dies, then we'll uh, we'll gain the um, the house. It'll be the same house as us. So that'll be quite interesting. Bloody Austria! I need Austria to kind of just like implode. And they're getting to that size, but oh, there's some stuff going on down here. Who's Castile at war with? Mamluks, Morocco, Tunisia. Ah, oh, this is Portugal. I'm guessing Castile pulled Portugal into it. Huh, interesting. So there's our colonies going, we're just about to get one. Cartagena. Three, five, three, four. One. So yeah, we're better off taking over these places up here first. Uh, that's one as well. Well, some of these are pretty decent. Five. Six. Three. Five. Three. What is our mission right now? Let's take some more. Let's just cancel that. It's only a year. Just give me stability cost and national tax down. Yeah, let's recall the diplomat from the papal state and let's offer them an alliance. We'll just go over the Ah, that's right, we can't do that. Tilly's gains liberty desire but also Um let's just tax it. Extra tariffs. Cartagena. Is that right there, Portugal? Let's just do that and stock these guys here. Our bank loan has expired and we can repay the loan. Yeah, let's repay it. Ah, oh, that was the guy that I was going to go for as well. Let's ignore this guy and go for the one that Portugal's after. Because he'll be cheaper. There we go, let's go into Moron. Portugal's taking Guantanamo, the scums. Who's got the Turks and Caicos? That Castile? The twats. Let's pop into this terra incognita and see if there's any... Yes, there is. There we go, we'll just do that until we find out what this is. He didn't die, did he? No, he's still there. He's just useless. We're at plus 35% on Diplo Tech, but we can't... Yeah, we don't have any Diplo ideas. Eh, uh, should we just get it? There's a trade colony. Level 12. Colonialism is at 15. 741. Eh, uh, we'll just wait. Oh, Castile are threatening our trade, are they? Oh no, Spain now. Didn't even realise. How are you having such an issue finding what this terra incognita is? There we go, it's the Bahamas. 
And the hammers are not very good, they're only plus two. <laughs> Spain are threatening our trade, are you Spain? That's not very nice of you. Yeah, they're still rival to us. Portugal's allied with England and France, it's really odd. So yeah, we can't go to war with England themselves. Okay, let's check the old ledger. Ireland just decided they want to be in free state, which means that Ireland may... Yeah, they've got 5,000 men. But we've got too few rivals. Let's just um, crack out Spain then, the twats. Uh, Rome. Why are you so poo? Like, I forgot I can't offer them vassalization because we're not married. We can't... Uh, we can't marry them. We have to dissolve the alliance, which is really crappy. Yeah, we've gained the colonialism, so we against Portugal. Let's build ourselves some flutes. They can take one troop each. Three, four, five. Yeah, let's go with seven then. We've got a loan coming due as well. Ugh. Hey, we've got some people influence for converting. Convert these guys. Still can't choose a mission. Just need to make sure that these guys don't get any ideas. Could we vassalize them? 32. Base tax is negative 57. Distance between borders and not the same religion. I don't think we could vassalize them. Right, how could we get if we Ech. How could we get a CB against Ireland? We could just declare war against them and lose the two stability. Triangle. We're, th we're at three stability. So if we lost the two, then that wouldn't be that bad. How else could we get a CB against Ireland? I mean, we could send them a warning. Insult them. It's going to be mercantilism. Hey, in religious faith. You know what? Let's do it. Let's declare war. Let's uh, bump up maintenance, raise the old war taxes, and we'll just wait. We'll colonize a place and we'll get colonial inclusion. Stadacona. Finds that a corner. Let's go there. What is it? Oh, that's worth five. That's actually pretty good. We call that colonist. Send them to Stada Corner. Yes. I'll arrive there in two hundred and something days. And Ireland will start winning this war until we get our ships built. There we go. And can we split it? Split it. Split it until we've got two little armies. Yeah, perfect.
Oh shit, there's only six guys here. Let's um, ditch one of the cannons. Attach you guys to the boats. Well, let's bump this down to speed three, and we're going to call it an episode. So, as always, guys, do remember to like the episode if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more European Universalis 4. As always, guys, I've been Cedro, and you've been awesome. So, I'll see you next time.